Hello, this is a tutorial how to install Zombs Mod Pack for the 1.0 official release of Minecraft. You can find it here on minecraftdl.com. It's the red link down here, the one I've just highlighted. That's your download link. A little hint there in case you know it, like you don't understand the tutorial. So let's get started. Right, when you open your, you want to download it obviously off the site, which I have got here. And this is what you'll download. You need WinRAR to open these, as you always do. And you need to open your Minecraft folder, which is apps, percent sign, app data, percent sign. That'll take you to your dot .minecraft folder. Everyone says dot .minecraft, this is what it means. You go into there, and you want to go into your bin, and you want to go into your Minecraft. Just Minecraft. All it says Minecraft, and it's an executable jar file. Just right click that and open with WinRAR. Not the one I just did. Right, right click, open with WinRAR Archiver. And that'll bring you this. If you've got a folder called Meta in, if you can just delete that, that's no biggie. You want to go into your classes folder, Control A, just to highlight them all, or you can just drag down them all, totally up to you. And just drag them into your Minecraft jar. Then you can um, go like go back on that. Press the little arrow to go back, you don't need your classes anymore. And you don't need your Minecraft jar anymore, so you can close that when you're out. You want to go back and into your mods, you won't have a folder, like well I do, but you won't have a folder there. When you can make a new folder called Zom, Zomb, basically Zombie without an I. If you put an I there, it will get confused. And just open that folder you've made and go into your configs. And just drag all your configs. No, you don't actually. That's it. Yeah, you do. You drag all your configs into your Zomb folder. And that knows what it's doing and everything. Alright, so now you've installed Zomb's mod pack. When you run Minecraft, you'll have an error saying no mods are, are on, basically. So what you need to do is edit your config.txt, the top one. And here are all the mods. It's a bit blaggy, but you, you get used to it after a while. Like building, classic building. This line here is the initial start of the mod. Saying, well, whatever in code, hash means it's a comment, not an actual line of code the computer reads. So if I unhash that, it'll realise it's not a comment and it actually wants that build mod to be enabled. That's build enabled. And you can scroll down, look, flying to here, just unhash flying, job done, that's flying enabled. And if you go to the top, the is a f there, disable all mods. If you put that on yes, it'll disable all mods. Just to say, say you're testing if it's zombs that's crashing your Minecraft or something, put that to yes if you want to disable them all. But put it back to no because we don't want to disable them all. We're showing you a mod review, aren't we? And save it, otherwise, you know, what you just did is pointless. You want to open your Minecraft. Get my, um, my launcher. Right, Zom's mod pack works on most servers. Pens, you'll have to it's a touch and go sort of thing. Just go on the server, see if it works. Right, we just enabled flying and build mod, which is F is the short key for flying, and B is the short key for building. And I'll just show you how it works. Flying, it's a pain in the bum, but it's not as easy as creative. Alright, so when my world loads up, alright. You see, we didn't get an error. If you didn't go into the config file and change anything, you've got an error. Red text top left of your screen saying no mods enabled. But what you want to do is, and right, there's my zone. Right, if I press B, top left it comes up with builder. And if I can do, I mean, I just forgot which, there you go, shift. If you press holding shift, left shift, and click one, it'll bring that menu up to. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. 0 doesn't do well. That's nice. That's basically like a cheeky, that's like a pikey, too many items mod, but some people prefer it like that. And if you press control, 1, left control, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there are all your spawners, 7, more spawners, 8, there you go, that's 9, 8, no that's 8 there, that's 8 there, and then that's 9. You can see my compass is dodgy, but that's just because of another mod I've installed. There'll be other videos on that. There you go, like, there's, even, there's even a glowing apple there. So now I've just, I've chosen, I can just walk around and look, they just do my inventory there. Put them up here if I want, and then just press Ctrl A again, and it'll give me some more of your stuff. So yeah, I can just store anything I want. And that's Control command b on Minecraft, you can change that. It's just entirely up to you. You can just change the config files, what button you press, put it as Q or whatever you want if B's 
for something else and to fly. Now I'm a flying bit at the top and I'm flying. I don't think you can tell, but I'm not on the floor. Yeah, you can now. I'm flying. You can be again, it'll take builder off. You'll see it top left, it'll take builder off. F again. It takes flyer off. What what can they fall damage? And some servers only allow you to fly for like a short period of time until it notices. So what you should, what a really good tip is to go to the top of a really big hole, press fly, fall over the top and press fly again. You'll fall down with no fall. But you can't fly all the way down, you've just got to fall. You can't fly all the way down, otherwise the server will realise you're flying. And just, then, if the server stops you flying, you will have fall damage. So yeah, that's Zom's mod pack. There's a lot more to look at, just go into the config file. All the information for all the mods will be in the config file, you can just decipher it all yourself. So yeah, that's Zom's mod pack.